Hello everyone, it is Monday, May 21st in the year of our Lord 2012. Hello! Well, hi Knuckles, Knuckle Dragger. Hi. Hi Tails, how are all you doing out there? I'm hi. doing awesome. Hi Delilah, way to represent the Red Sox today. Good job. Oh, and look, look at my shirt. That was, it's an old shirt, folks. Give us a break. Johnny Damon, when he was with the Red Sox, before he became mm -hmm. Johnny Demon with the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but then and, he moved to the Tigers. And, now and they moved to the Tigers, and now with the Indians, and he's cool again. Um, Super Bowl 38, ugly shirt represented. Patriots, uh, <laughs> Patriots hat. Old. <laughs> this hat I've had a long damn time, as you can tell if you look at it closely. Ew. <laughs> But yeah, and there's a reason for wearing this today. Um, first of all, let me let me get down to the one birthday I do have, and he's not even on Facebook. But I worked with him be back in uh, from like 1989, 90, 91 time frame at the A&P grocery store. My friend Mike Percalis, happy birthday to you! Giving a shout out to your two daughters, um, Rebecca. Percalis, who I graduated with in 1991, and Melissa Percalis Lamb, who uh, graduated in 1992 with my brother. Hope you two ladies. Oh God, do we have to have that on the show? That's our dog Patches, and he is always nasty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, Rebecca and Melissa graduated with my brother and I. Still talk to both ladies to this day. Great ladies, awesome folks. Um. And I just, no. awesome family too. But yeah, your dad is absolutely great guy. Pleasure to work hey, with. Look who else is here? Hi, Shadow. That's this Shadow. Oh, come here, you big fat puppy. Oh. <laughs> oh, he... With floppy ears. All right. So, um, oh, also there is here's the here's the uh, random fact of the day. Did you know I pitted the fool? That's right, Mr. T. Is hey, 60 years old today. Do you know this, that when Daddy put down Shadow, then then he groaned? Uh, I did not know that. But see, now, a, no, a random fact of the day is that uh, a lot of people don't know this. What is Mr. T's real name? Lawrence Tero. T-E-R-O. That's how that he was born as Lawrence Tero. Um, but we we know him as Mr. T. And uh, B.A. Baracus, of course, in the A-Team. Clubber Lang and Rocky Three. I still say, of all the fighters, he was the best one. That guy was crazy. A pity the fool. That's right. And we remember him in the first WrestleMania wrestling with Hulk Hogan, March 31st, 1985. But anyway, so happy birthday to you, Mr. T. And uh, now, folks, um, I need to bust out the beer. Because I'm, I'm thirsty. The show's already been three minutes. There we go. Brooklyn Lager. Brooklyn Brewery, Utica, New York. Um, really good beer here. 5%, 5.2%, excuse me. Um, wow. Whoa. That was a good one today, huh? 4.1%? 5.2. Oh, 5.2. Wow. Mm. Tails is still a little drunk from, from a prom night. And he's only 17. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cheers and beers. Now, folks, I'll get to this in a moment. I bring out Knuckle Buster. I'm going to talk about somebody who truly is a Knuckle Buster. Me? All right. I'll explain in a moment. Me? Hi, Knuckles. That Knuckle, too. Uh. Look what I've got. Mm. Ah, booze bag. Yeah. All right. Um, what did you want to do, Delilah, real quick? Well, Knuckles is drinking beer. The picture of the day, of course. Explain it, yourself, it's, Delilah. It's, what is this? It's Blaze licking Sonic. Why is Blaze licking Sonic? Be because it was Sonic's birthday. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, and, and look, she's drooling on Sonic. Ew. <laughs> Slobbery. <laughs> Squeeze me. Alright, um, now we gotta get as to, first of all... Today's show, I have to dedicate, and this is kind of sad, Delilah. It is. Yep. I had a friend of mine pass away Friday night that I worked with in Japan. My friend, Rick Replinger. 
Did you give him a shout out yesterday? Um, no, actually, I didn't give him a shout out yesterday. When did you give him a shout out? Um, I'm trying to. Th I'm sure. I I think I've given him a shout out on the show before. I'm not sure if I have. I know I've given a bunch of friends shout outs from J Japan, but I mean four How months worth of show. Away, cancer. No, actually, not that I know of. Sadly, he passed away in his sleep. He he died in his sleep on Friday night. You know what? What? Sleep. While he was asleep, he died. So I don't know. Maybe God wanted him early. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes that happens, Delilah. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, folks, I cannot stress enough. You only live once. The key to life is to enjoy it. Mm. And let me tell you something about Rip. This guy truly enjoyed and embraced life like nobody's business. I mean, he was a lot of fun to work with. He was uh, he was an engine troop by trade. Worked on engines, airplane engines. And the guy was awesome at doing his job phenomenal and he was old school as a guy and he was a diehard Redskins fan from North Carolina Vietnam Fayetteville North Carolina so he was already born again hard when he was born uh, I believe October 23rd I want to say 1973 I think he's the same age as me I know he graduated in 1992 I know he's currently living in Florida but it rep rest in peace my brother I'm gonna miss you big time and uh, I can't, it's, it, it's, thank you, Delilah. I can't believe you're gone. I know, I'm a little tired looking today. I'm the toughest guy on the planet. But, um, yeah. So, cheers and beers to you, definitely. Um, just lots of good comments out there on Facebook. You know, talk about how great this man was. Let me, let me tell you a story real quick. What this guy did, and I wonder if anybody can attest to it. And I, I, I think I, yeah, I posted it on Facebook earlier today. The funniest thing that I remember Rep doing. Now, we were driving, and we were all in the truck, a whole bunch of us. And uh, they, were, they had exercise going on. And all of a sudden, we see a guy that's running. So, I don't even know if the truck stopped all the way or not. But all of a sudden, Rep jumps out the I want to see I can't remember if he was in the front seat in the passenger seat or if he was in the uh in the back and hopping out the um I think he was in the passenger seat I don't even think the truck came to a full stop and he jumps out and tackles the individual who was a cop and uh I mean dude it was like this I mean rep hit him from behind and he just went Ugh! I mean it was bone crushing dude landed on the concrete and Rep just, oh man, it was brutal. It was like, serves you right trying to run like you're a bad guy. Rep just annihilated him. But Rep, that man could drink. Okay. And that man just had fun. Daddy? Yes, baby daughter. Look at Knuckles. What's Knuckles doing? He drank beer. Oh, he drank beer. Look well, at see, it. Rep could drink beer and wouldn't do anything to him. Watch this. I'm the toughest guy in the. <laughs> So, Rep, we miss you, and we love you. Not in that way. Don't get excited. But I know you're in a better place, man. Maybe the good Lord needed some good humor up there, because I'll tell you what, you, he, he's got it now. Because, Rep, you were, you were definitely a character. No doubt Wait, about did it. You see that? But, uh, okay. no one, Rep, he would, he would want us to press on and enjoy life, and that's what we do, so... Just never forget. So, Rep, big shout out to you. A big salute to you. You will be sorely missed. Um, ad more additional shout outs. My friend Raina Howenstein, bubble chasing badass lady from Japan that I worked with. Um, my wife adores you too. Farrah just loves you. Everybody loves you. I haven't met anybody that didn't like you. Not just like Rep. Everybody liked you. Everybody liked Rep. And, uh, Hope you're doing well. Thanks, thanks for the info today. I gotta give a shout out to this man. He's a professional photographer now, but he worked on engines with Rep in Japan. And my man Tom Sullivan, you were the first to break the news to me by way of private message. I appreciate that. That's Squeeze me. It, it's public on Facebook now, so that's why I've been posting. That's why I posted on there because I had already seen it from a few people. Okay, that's it. And Tom, hope you're doing well. I know it's a rough time right now. 
Same for you, Raina. Real bummer. <clears throat> More shout outs. Give a shout out to my man Keith Fisher. Now, Keith, are you here in Texas? Daddy, are, are you, you are you moving to Texas? I yeah, I, I can put the stuff back on. Now, Keith, because I'm I'm scaring the camera with my ugliness right now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's why I cover this, up. See, that way that I look the camera doesn't get totally destroyed Daddy, now. Yes, dear. It didn't get it didn't didn't stop recording. I know it's a miracle, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, my man Keith Fisher. We know you. We love you, fellow engine troop, and uh, I know you worked with Rep. And if you don't know about it already, you need to need to focus in because <clears throat> all of us from the Japan family, you know, we we had a crew of us from the 2000 to 2004 era that I lived there, and I mean, we were tight. We were tight in Japan, real tight, wicked tight. Yes, dear. Um. Um. She don't know. I can't remember where I was going. Okay, she'll figure it out in a moment. Wait, uh, look, look at Knuckles. Wow, Knuckles is hanging. Yeah, because he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Way to go. Wake up! <clears throat> All right, um, Keith. Oops. If you're anywhere near Texas, you better hit me up. Because I thought I had heard something about you coming here to Yeehaw, Texas. Texas. Abilene. And if that's the case, you better hit me up. Because we would love to see you. And uh, my wife absolutely loved you. Not in that way. Nice try there, buddy. But uh, we miss you, brother. Next on the list. Mike and his better half, Sabrina Davis. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Both worked with rep as well. Both exuded awesomeness as, as engine mechanics. And Mike... I know you've changed jobs over the course of time, Sabrina. You, Mark, Sabrina, you two are just absolutely phenomenal. And I remember when, when you guys got married. Next thing I knew, you guys got like five kids now. It's amazing. Whoa! Hey, be fruitful and multiply, right? Heck yeah! And since you're both awesome people, the love doctor here gives you the blessing to breed. Please breed, because good people usually breed good people. And we need good people in this world because society's kind of jacked up these days, you know? It really is. There are some fruitcakes and schmucks out there and goobers and people that are a waste of a sperm and egg. Horrible. But Mark and Sabrina, you are awesome friends, great people, and uh, got great kids, great family. So big salute to the Davis family. No hey, doubt about it. Uh, all the kids' names? Yeah. I don't remember offhand. Well, just one of them. I don't know. Shame on me. Oh, Delilah just called me out. How do I not know the kids' names? Because I haven't met them yet. Someday we will. What we re really need to do is, those of us that live together in Japan, we need to uh, have a reunion sometime. We really do. Uh, next on the list, Julie Wood, another engine troop that worked with Rep. And she ended up moving to Germany. But Julie, total sweetheart. Way cool. Awesome lady. And um, I know nowadays she's a stay-at-home mom. And <laughs> nothing busier than that, huh? You and your you and your lesser half, as I like to call it, Dustin. Love you guys. Always a pleasure to chat with. Great friends. We miss you. And uh, hopefully someday we get together again. That would be phenomenal. Uh, Julie. I know you just talked to Rep recently. Um, I had talked to him not too long ago myself, and I am completely in shock as well. I just, you can never prepare for something like this, especially when it's sudden and just, wow. Just sucks. I mean, it sucks ass. Next on the list, Alvin Dean. Dino Stud. Now, this guy is another one that, uh, same job, engine, engine guy. And phenomenal dude. And I know you're, you're living in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. You lucky bastard. I'm jealous of you. But, uh, and you're from Texas. What the hell? I'm from Massachusetts and I'm living in your state. And you're from Texas and you're living in my state. Eh, you know. Guy, it's called experiencing culture, right? But yeah, um, Alvin, you're a great guy. And uh, I, I know we're all saddened by the loss of our friend Rep, man. It sucks ass. It really does. 
But, you know, like like Morgan Freeman said in Shawshank Redemption, get busy living or get busy dying. Folks, we need to stay busy living because the Lord knows you never know when it's your time to go. So just enjoy life each and every day. Embrace it. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Treat them right. You know, if you treat people right, they'll treat you right. If not, they should have never been born. That's just my philosophy. Rip was always good to people. And, uh, you still talking about your friends? Yeah, it's, it's, it sucks, doesn't it? And finally, my man Jim Derby. Derb! And I know you were a big, big badass engine troop as well. And uh, I remember hanging out with you in Okinawa. And uh, we got to change an engine one time. Dude, you were all over that. Did a hell of a job. And you changed jobs right after that. Never forget that. 17 hours, engine re removed, replaced, ran, everything. And remember what we got for that? A six-pack of Corona. Eh. And remember I said to you, I remember you were pissed off, and I said to you, Jim, could have been worse. They could have given us nothing. See, I just look at the positive, or I try to. I do agree it should have been a case. You're damn right it should have been a case. But, uh, Knuckles, dude, please. I miss you. And I know you got a new job now, and uh, and I know you're probably as sad as I am about our man Rep, because that dude was phenomenal, wasn't he? What, baby daughter? Look at Knuckles. Hi, Knuckles. Knuckles drink. You, is he drinking for our friend Rep? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Cheers and beers to you, Rep. And One it looks more. looks like he's a little drunk, too. Oh, it took Rep a lot of beer to get drunk. That dude, that dude was like a funnel. That, that man could drink. Not many can outdo him. But boy, was he... I mean, he was funny sober. He didn't have to be drunk to be Soon hilarious. Knuckles' new name... Soon Knuckles' new name will be Ralph. Ralph. All right. Well, Rep, I know you were born in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Daddy, how are you I, talking... Oh, wait. You can... got the license plate of the day, and I hope I'm accurate that it was 1973. I want to say you're a few months younger than me. Either way, I'm representing the 1973 North Carolina license plate. Memory for you, and for the fact that it's a pretty cool plate to have. He's watching down from heaven. I think he is too. And the good Lord's probably saying, "Rep, you're one crazy dude, man." So, yep, license plate of the day. Yellow on red. A red on. Well, yellow. kind of a red on a kind of a beige, you know. It's a 39-year-old license plate. Red on beige. You remember on my birthday I showed the oldest license plate? That's right. 1911 Massachusetts Porcelain. But how old was that license plate? It's 101 years old. Wow. Imagine what kind of car that was on, right? Oh. Now see, this 73 North Carolina plate was probably on some nice big old gas guzzling boat. Maybe a Cadillac or something. I think... <clears throat> I, I think it, it's... Um, in love with... Wow, that's a big Dalmatian doggy. Fire department. Ugh. All right, folks, it is time for the song of the day. Rip remembers my music. I think he, if I, he, he's kind of a country guy. I'm not a big country guy. A lot of respect for it, particularly the old school stuff. But, um, title's perfect. Um, I don't want to cry over you. By the Strikes, 1956, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit of rockabilly. That's a fusion of rock and roll and country. I don't ever, ever want to wow. die over you. No, I don't ever, ever want to die over you. Sitting for a sad, feel so blue. I don't ever want to cry over you. No, I don't ever, ever want to cry over you. Rejoice, folks. Of course, this is more geared towards a man versus a woman here, but the point is, enjoy life. That's what Rep would want us to do. He wouldn't want us to just salt. He wants us to live and drink one for him, which I am doing right now. Yes, dear. Oh my goodness, tails are getting crushed. Listen to that. Nice instrumental break. Is he singing? You know, Rep, I remember you 
giving me crap one time when we were hanging out at the bar, the club, the E Club in Japan. And I think you were telling me I was drinking too slow. I needed the nipple for my bottle. That was before my microbrew days when they didn't have a lot of beer to choose over in Japan. And I remember I was drinking an MGD. That's, that's, that's the domestic that I'll drink of choice if I have to. Yep. But, uh, Rep, I need to do this for you. I can't, have, I can't be a wuss. So I need to slam this down for you, brother. What? Um, my Dalmatian was lip singing to you. Oh, okay. Sorry, Rep, I'm not a funnel, but I'll suck it down faster than usual. Whoa! Is, is that the first time you drink a whole bottle of beer on the show? Mm -hmm. Second time. Rep! That was for you, my man. You know I don't slam beer. I kept telling you that a long when time was, ago. When was the first time? I don't remember. There was a day that I was wicked thirsty on the show. It was really hot. And I drank that beer faster than you could say Yankees suck. Yankees suck! They do. Alright. So, Rep, that beer was for you. If I had a North Carolina beer, I wish I had... Um, oh, what's it called? Downtown Brown, I believe it's called. It's brewed in North Carolina. I've seen it. I've had it. Or low down brown ale, something like that. Hold on. Uh, beer book, please, Delilah. Okay, I got it. It is only four years old. Uh oh. My beer Bible. Ah, there's my beer Bible. Um, yeah. Let's see. I ha I have to look at this because I have had this beer, and if I had it right now, I would be drinking it. North Kakalaki. Oh, they got a beer called Duck Rabbit Brewery. Oh, Duck Rabbit Brewery, speaking Carolina of, Brewery. Speaking of rabbit, guess what? What? We saw a dead rabbit at our school. Really? It's awesome. Ah, there it is. Cottonwood Low Down Brown. 5.7%. It's heavy. Brewed out of Mooresville, North Carolina. Daddy. That one. Low Down Brown. Daddy, its head was missing. The head was missing on the rabbit? Mm-hmm. Wow. We think that the owl ate it. Oh, yeah? Oh, speaking of that, our friend Rep, there was something about Waskly Wabbits that our friend Rainer talked about earlier. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? That was something along. I, you know what? I think he was like chasing rabbits with the truck one time. <laughs> yeah, Rep was crazy like that. Rep was silly. He was a fun guy. We love him and we miss him big time. You know how much beer oh, what, this dog would have to drink to get drunk? How much? A lot. Oh, yeah. Look, All right, folks. Look at the size of this He's thing. huge. He's a beast. Blue, Folks, his tail can slap daddy silly. Um, my beloved Farrah is making some sort of um, chicken salad with plum sauce, or I don't know what it is, but all I know is it sounds good and it smells good. So I think dinner's almost ready. Folks, his tail can slap daddy silly. Ow. Folks, we need to make like a fetus and head out. So it's time to make like a fetus and head out. Everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't you be driving my space drink going by kilometer or so I've been drinking and driving a dumber than baby and she said <gasps> and what's over that is like is root for Eli Manning and men hitting women. That's right. Rooting for idiots oh, like and Eli you know what Manning. Else is even dumber? What's that? Jumping into a fire. That's right, that is pretty stupid, isn't it? Yeah, and remember a, especially a bonfire. That's right. And rep, I'm sure you agree with me because of, any good Redskins fans gotta hate the Giants for that's a rivalry there, NFC oh, East. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So rep Redskins are cool. We do not like Eli Manning. We do not like the Cowboys. We do not at all. Sorry, I know a lot of Cowboy fans out there. But I'm just not a Cowboys fan. But I do like the Eagles. And rep, I know you probably don't, but that's okay. Hey, uh, we can't be alike in everything. Jeez. All right, folks, we're out of here. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 25 minutes, longest ever.